notice that it's been very windy across the West Country thanks to Storm Kira. Blowing gales of over 70 miles per hour. Parts of the country are without power and are underwater. But how has the storm affected us here in Bristol? Well, the storm began to strengthen late on Saturday night with strong winds and heavy rain. And by Sunday morning, the travel disruption began. Flights were cancelled in and out of Bristol Airport, leaving people in their thousands stranded across Europe trying to get back to the southwest. A similar picture on the road with closures due to fallen trees, especially across North Somerset. The B3129 Belmont Hill at the junction with Flaxbottom Road was closed and a fallen tree caused issue for people travelling by train, blocking the line between Swindon and Cheltenham Spa. And the day just proceeded to get even more difficult for GWR, who tweeted to say a tree had fallen onto the line between Reading and London Paddington, which caused headaches for those travelling from Bristol into the capital. On the coast, as you can imagine, the heavy winds were a cause for concern. North Somerset Travel and Roads tweeted out a warning for those in Western as this video from the Tidewatch team shows the waves are actually coming over and onto the promenade. In their message they urge people not to head to exposed coastal areas. A bit further up the M5 and in Clevedon this video was captured by Phil Williams showing a huge wave crashing on to the walkway. Pretty spectacular. Now I took myself to Battery Point in Portishead on Sunday afternoon to experience the weather and I was actually quite surprised by the amount of people that I saw out there too. Lots of people actually walking their dogs. I didn't see much in terms of waves but I did however see the wind doing its best to empty out this lake. And uh, with the end of Storm Kira, things are expected to get wintry. But how is that going to be affecting us here in the West Country? Well, we'll of course update you on all of that in the coming days.